Good afternoon and welcome to another cast of BRML Breacher. Today we'll be casting a great game. We have, I believe, Taurus United and Beaver Tales going head to head today. And today, uh, my name is Martini and we have Splurge tagging along today. Always hop in the booth. Let's go. Uh, so get some cheers out for their claps. I don't know how I don't know how it's done in the YouTube chat. But anyways, let's check out today's lineup. Looks like uh People are dropping. Never mind. They're switching sides. It might look like. Uh, but anyways, we're hopping in early. Looks like we have about eight players. This is a pretty punctual team, which is great to see. Um, but what are you thinking about the matchup today? I'll pull up the matchup page right now. Uh, Splurge. Have you? I think you were looking at the team a little bit earlier. What are you feeling? Uh, it looks like Beaver Tail is a little bit newer of a team, and Towards United definitely um, has some veteran status because they've been playing. I think since uh, it looks like preseason actually. Yeah, they have been a while. They've been playing for a while. So that it gives me the in incentive that Taurus United is going to be having a more uniform play style. But then again, the newer teams that have been playing, they have been they've been wanting it, you know. So since they're two and one Beaver Tails, let me just assume that they're just going to want it just as more. I totally get that. Um, and like you said, we don't quite know. Um, we've seen I've seen new teams that are very new. And then I think mm -hmm. I recently was casting a new team. I think two games it was Ice Cream Truck. Uh, they're actually even on the uh, standings around here, uh, which is funny enough. But they're a newer team, but they were made from a lot of other teams. So really, they're not that new of a team. It's just more of a – the team itself is new, but not the players, right? And, and that's something mm -hmm. I have to consider when we're watching mm -hmm. Beaver Tails play against Taurus United. You know, they had a pretty good uh, streak already, right? They're on the 2-0 streak. Um, you mm -hmm. know, maybe today is going to be their 3-0 streak, or this might be their first loss in this season. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see what's going to happen here. And, I mean, it's really anyone's game, right, until we see what's going on. That's why I picked up this game. I mean, granted, I was available at this time, but I also picked it up, too, because it looked like, you know, be a pretty solid, uh, you know, matchup between these two teams. And I'm always excited to see um, how newer teams stack up against some of these older teams and can they fight amongst these top um, it looks like top 25 uh, with Taurus United. So we'll find out pretty soon um, in this upcoming game. And we are filling up pretty soon. I think we're literally waiting on one more player. Um, so while we're waiting in the meantime, you know we got to throw in the sponsors. <laughs> um, always got to, you know, shout out HyperX. Can never thank them enough. We've had them hop on and give us some really cool stuff. Um, again, if you want to get 15% off of fully priced HyperX products, check out uh, using the code HXBRML23. They help support us with some great high quality products. And again, I always got to say it, they, they're providing our first, second, and third place champions with some great hardware. And we actually have a really new sponsor coming in, VR Cover. I actually used to use VR Covers um, mm -hmm. when I had my Quest 2. I, I don't think I, I haven't bought a new cover for my Quest 3 yet. Um, but they're great because they offer some high quality hygiene, some great right. solutions for you know a lot of popular headsets. Um, and these cushions really do help with the comfort of any VR device, allowing you to play in VR comfortably for much longer. But anyways, it looks like these teams are actually hopping into the game pretty early today. Um, and we will see what's going on. We got round one starting here, and it's going to be um, yeah. Beaver Tails versus Taurus United on a kind of a different choice. It's going to be um, the buy... Uh, sorry, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, we're on ship. Ship, ship, ship. And I always find it crazy... Uh, when someone chooses ship as their first uh, choice map, you know, it's it's definitely a different thing to try out. Um, yeah. I don't know. What are you thinking? Like the fact that these teams chose ship or who was a home team today? It looks like Taurus United. So likely that Taurus experience. United chose ship. What do you think? I think it's, yeah, it's about that experience for that that team there. Maybe they have just that more of a, a playbook play style here in this map. Yeah, we'll see what's going on. I mean, let's see. Beaver Tails technically on the advantage considering they're defending. But if Taurus United was the one that chose this, maybe they know how to attack ship. Uh, but anyways, let's mm -hmm. see what's going on as they are starting to develop their attack coming in. And we got Captain. Captain Rogers said, never mind. Mini mm -hmm. Roxy on the back and knocking out. Never mind. It's Dan the Bind. I'm, <laughs> I'm not too excited about that. But anyways, it looks like they're starting off to a rough start right now for Taurus United playing a 4v5. Oh yeah, we have a Taurus player. The Taurus player is nearly down, dead, picks up a kill on Ray J15, barely has health to spare. Master killer, double, double one, zero, one, kills Trep with a spectral. Mini Rocks follows up, killing Captain Rogers. Mini Rocks as well, low on the HP, so it is a 4v2. Two players are left for Tor 
Porous United, just as I say that, Master Killer 01, Killing Dead. Taurus United in a tough position here, having one player alive. Yeah, I mean, they got crushed on their attacks initially when they first pushed in. Um, things seemed to be going pretty well, but again, that numbers disadvantage wasn't the best for them. Granted, they were able to equalize it, but that attack, I don't know what quite happened, but they got kind of cornered um, in his little hallway here, and unfortunately, it pushed their 4-4 even into a pretty bad um, disadvantage. But anyways, Master Killer finishing off Sturson with a wall bang at the last second, leaving four players up for Beaver Tails. So definitely very confident showing right now for Beaver Tails. Um, and I don't know, I'm getting I'm getting a little nervous for uh, Taurus United. Can they show out? Can they um, do what they were hoping to do potentially when they chose this map? Um, maybe they didn't choose this map. Maybe they chose side and decided that and the Beaver Tails went for ship. That's always, I always find it interesting. You know, most people tend to choose map for their choices, but you can always mm -hmm. technically choose side um, when you're going first. So I will say that, but mm -hmm. it, it makes more sense that Taurus United probably chose ship. Um, so it just, it's an interesting choice and... I don't know. It is. It is an interesting choice. It, it feels like the it's a defender heavy map. So for them to pick it and then be on the attacking side, well, that's kind of going to be what Beaver is going to want, right? They're going to want that defending heavy side. So even though that they had map pick, they didn't, they didn't think ahead. Maybe they just wanted to not have the advantage. Who knows? They really could have decided on choosing the defending on this map. That's true, that's true. Um, I will say, like, even though technically Taurus United is at the disadvantage, um, you have to consider, never mind, Captain Roger's knocking out mini Roxy there, having oh a God. good start off. And never, oh, Master Killer <laughs> had some crazy picks there. They worked around Dan, but they, 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 they didn't get fooled. Beaver, Beaver didn't get fooled by that. They had the bot right in front, and they killed the main players at the window. It was, it was smart. Ooh, a kill through the smoke. Cut skills, killing... Killing Captain Rogers. Yeah, I think Master Killer had a crazy angle that was Correct. able to knock down a couple of the players on Taurus United. And again, a really strong showing from Beaver as Taurus United now down to one player in a 1v4 situation as they get picked off by cut skills right at the end there, giving Beaver Tails one more point on the board. And the point I was making oh. earlier is even though Taurus United, yeah, they're on the attack and they're on the a disadvantage if you think about it all they need to do is get a couple rounds under the belt and then they actually have the advantage for the later half right they'll be defending from that yeah. point forward um and that's why i always find the uh tactics interesting right would you rather start out hmm. strong and do really well and then it's at the at that point you just gotta hold it down until the very end or would you rather start off on a weaker position knowing that at the hmm. you know at the later half that you have the advantage and you can really hold it up till the very end right that's a very good point. I couldn't have said it any better myself, for sure. Yeah, that's Beaver all is killing it right now. They are making pretty high IQ plays working around their bot that they have. And and for, you know, for Taurus United having the bot, they, they're going to be trying to utilize him as best as they can, you know? Even though right now he has EMP, they're really seriously going to have to pick up the EMP from the bot. And and, and you can tell that the, the Taurus United doesn't like it. They're thumbing him down and pointing at him. Yeah, I remember anyway. I saw a suggestion that, you know, can, if, if Triangle Factory can allow people to pick up stuff from bots, and I get it, it's, it sucks when you have the bot, especially on the attacking half, they're just, they look, they just literally run all the way in, I'm not even gonna watch them, uh, but they run all the way in, and never mind, damn the bot knocking out Master Killer in a league match, and I love seeing a bot kill in a league match. Oh, oh, there it goes, he was going in, he dropped EMP, EMP down by Dan. They know that that EMP is dropped into A site, so they are gonna have that issue. It's gonna, they look like they're gonna wanna try to kill everybody going towards B site. Yeah, at this point, we got a potential roamer on the back end, end, and Happy oh, Rock is getting knocked bang. down. Yeah. Trap killing Mini Rocks, also revenging the teammate. <clears throat> it is now a 3v3 situation. Pushing a little down on health, as I say, that cut skills comes around and gets a double kill on Trep and Sturson, leaving it a one v three situation. One player up for Taurus United. Yeah, I know, and, and that was the rumor I was just talking about earlier, wondering if they were going to make their pinch or not, and they did exactly what I was hoping they're going to do. Now coming down to dead, um, and a one v three scenario, and definitely some harder things to get done here. 
get pinched now, getting shot from the wall. He swings around with that Taurus. He's not trying to give up a fight. He smacks down Water Dex, and then Ray J15 comes and shuts down dead to avenge his teammate, giving the round win to Beaver Tails for round three. Three wins in a row. That's that's a pretty heated win streak, don't you think, Martini? It seems like to me like they are wanting this win, especially they're taking that advantage that they have an enemy with a bot player. So you know, I definitely putting in the heat. I know it's it's a, it's a good win uh, streak right now, but you got to consider Taurus United is definitely still dealing on the you know kind of the backfield, right? They had a four v five situation, um, so definitely a lot of credit to Taurus United. They're making it sort of work out. Um, on their attacking, you know, half, considering they got it down to two players finally, I think Taurus United slowly is trying to get a little bit more comfortable um, with this disadvantage that they have. And I think they're trying their best to make it work, but as we know, that bot can only do so much. Granted, you do have the occasional um, crazy bot play, just like we saw last round. Um, I unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> you know, that was the one time I pulled off and didn't look at the bot, and it was the one time the bot gets the kill and... You know, moments like that, I'm like, should I watch the bot? But uh, eight times out of ten, the bot doesn't do anything interesting, so it's never really worth it. And then it did. <laughs> uh, well, on the Beaver side right now, they're pretty healthy with the economy. They all bought in on Vezins. They're trying to clear up the B site with some trip mine and electric fields, and it may work out in their favor because the push is heavy right now on A site as Taurus United are trying to find some players after blowing out A wall. Grenade comes in, picking up a kill on Starson, cuts kills, gets a kill on Dead with a Vezin, and then many other players drop. It's going down so fast you couldn't even tell. But the players that are up right now are Beaver Tails for the win, catching that that next win on round four. It went so quickly I didn't even see the EMP get placed myself. I know there was literally EMP so much action going on. People diffused. fighting in break room. I think uh, cut wow. skills had come out for a little pinch, and at the same time mm -hmm. people were going for the plant and. I don't know. I think that's what's going on right now with Taurus United. They're playing um, very aggressive, even considering they're down a player. Um, and they're getting the EMP plant off, and don't get me wrong, that does give them a couple extra points. Um, but it is going to keep sacrificing these round losses, um, unfortunately. And I don't know. It's I, I can only try to overthink... Yeah, I, I could, there's only so many things you can do when you're, you know, on the attacking half with a bot, because that bot just really mm. throws itself um, at walls that it should not. Um, at least on the defending yeah. half, you can kind of try to work with the bot, but it's just so difficult, right? Yeah. At this point, you you just got to hope for some crazy clutch ups, and I mean, that's that's really about the best I think you can do when you're attacking with a bot, you know? Right. Yeah, like you said, it, it does throw itself in there, so maybe it's throwing off their tempo a little bit. Maybe they feel like they have to keep up with that bot try to utilize like use it just so when it dies they can follow up and try to kill a player yeah it's definitely funky um and unfortunate i'm not sure i mean towards united they didn't wait at all so maybe they they're expecting to play out a four or five you know um most teams if they yes. have a player down and they know someone's on the way they'll try to wait out the because you get what about like 10 minutes before a round is forfeited mm -hmm. most teams just wait out that 10 10 minutes and try to wait as long as possible for that you know teammate to come in but we didn't see that from Taurus United they started I think right on time um, so maybe they're expecting to play out a 4-5 um, which is unfortunate showing but hey I've seen teams make it work uh, so it's not an impossible ask they did use a drone this time and as I say that Captain Rogers is gonna blow out the wall will it be used as a distraction or a main push Dead, looking for a player over in the red engine room two. Captain Rogers is that EMP player, so he may want to hold back a little bit, wait for his team to advance. A st sturdy defense look like right now on the beaver tail side. As I say that, Ray J15 killing Trep with the Vezin. Sturson killing cut skills with the Vezin also. Ooh, a Cadillo kill, dead, killing Master Killer, double one, double, uh, sorry, zero one. I get that mixed up with his Discord name. <laughs> yeah, I get that. But hey, I mean, it's pretty so. even now. 3-3 three, three, um, coming from Force United. This might be the closest round we've seen come out from them. And I think that maybe this might be able to switch up the momentum if they play it right. And right now we're seeing Sturson try to pull up with the crazy deep frag coming in from Raj and knocking out Sturson there. Now leaving it down to a 2 players left for 
the Taurus United side. We'll see if they can push it in. Um, it's definitely a hard ass. Time is counting down. And never mind, Raj knocks out another player. Raj is holding that corner down really well. And it now comes down to Raj once more getting a three piece there um, against Taurus United. And I don't know, it's just. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying earlier, right? Beaver Tails is just start having right. a really good showing right now, and Taurus United not having that fifth player just makes it that much more difficult, right? Yeah, it did. They're, they're, it seems like they are clumping up with their numbers, right? They want to just stay by a heavy one objective, and then that could be because of the bot, like we were talking about before. They should probably spread their, or change it up. They were using a drone that time, but to separate in groups probably would be the difference to happen right now, since they are very clumped up all the time. And uh, the economy, just the wealth, and just the... Uh, do they keep on rising up? It seems like even if they lost a round at this point, if it didn't, you know, switch because the rounds are going to switch, then they still would have had a plenty enough money to still keep on buying Vezins. So just to, to keep on holding it down very well for the Beaver side. And as I say that, it seems like they're going to be buying the, all the frags that they could have possibly bought, the smoke, an incinerary, and a healing syringe. So they look very heavily equipped over on tacticals to throw it down for when they do breach these next up and coming walls on the sites here. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we're seeing those economy changes that we saw earlier um, from Triangle Factory, where we're seeing consecutive losses from Torch United. So they're able to consistently at this point get um, solid guns. I won't say they can get pheasants every single time, but they can get solid enough guns like Cadillos and stuff like that every round. Um, but obviously, that big difference is just never where is captain rogers they got knocked out on top, top. oh there's a roamer from the cut skills again yeah, and I, I'll, I'll say that too cut skills to has been a really good roamer um coming in constantly being a thorn in the side for Taurus united mm. he's looking for him he, he killed his he killed his player so now he's trying to find cut skills knowing he is low the roamer up upstairs that you talked about over on the beaver side there will be an inter an altercation here unless yep he, never mind cut skills decided to ro rotate back to his team which is a smart play meanwhile the taurus united players are grouping up trying to hunt down the roamer with sturson yeah i think dan the bot is going for some crazy flanking <laughs> um i don't know what's quite going on here oh uh, but i think dan is trying to get some shots on never mind cut skills knocked him down um, so the Bob will not be doing anything from this point on. It all comes down to the last three remaining players on Taurus United. I did notice that he went back for a healing syringe. Did get that healing syringe. Went back out. Got another pick. Smart play by cut skills. As he comes to get another roaming kill, Sturson manages to actually find him down below. So that means it was a very good pick for the Taurus United side. Leaving it at a 4v3 situation. 3 Main Ding with Taurus United. Dead looking to free fire with the Cadillo. It looks to be. Doesn't be able to get a pick. Gets hurt in the process. A grenade coming in by Master Killer 01, killing Starson and Dead. That was a very good in the doorway grenade. Trep coming around trying to get another pick. He knows he's his last remaining player. He has to do something. He's swinging around after that pre fire, trying to prevent them to know the exact location this is pretty smart since they have been holding down one side the remaining of the time this rotate could pay off as he to rotate around ray j15 he picks off trep kills ray j15 very good pick he throws underneath a frag that he had managed to pick up taking out the electric field and the door blocker as he does that that was another another trick up his sleeve trying to make them not know exactly where they are so he's going to rotate once again over to a site ah oh, and then master killer 01 with a sneaky peek head peek around the bomb at the a site there yeah that was That's just a really tough. nasty angle from master killer you can't do too much about it um mm. and at this point i am not sure if Torres united can come back on this defending half i mean we didn't see even, I get it, there's still the bot, but we've seen several rounds where Beaver uh, is just really able to hold it down and potentially always come out with, I think, about, what, three, four players consistently. And again, I always say that, like, the more the amount of players still alive on the other side um, when the round is over, it just showcases how well that side played. Um, you know, it always comes down to a 1-1. To me, that's always a really close round. It comes down 
um, to you know two, three, definitely four plus. It's a really strong showing from that team. And right now we're seeing some really good gameplay right now from Beaver's Tail. And this is what I was saying, you know, just because they're the newer team doesn't mean they don't have the experience um, or even chemistry to really showcase um, how well they can play in Breachers, right? And, and that's what we're seeing right now, Beaver's Tail. Um, they're on a two-win streak. This, uh, the way it's looking, they might be able to get a third win streak from this series, but we'll have to see. You know, uh, Maybe a fifth player comes in from Torch United. Maybe Torch United's clutch is up in the upcoming map. Maybe they hold us down and we get a draw in the next six rounds, but we'll have to see, right? Right. Right now, they're making a top hatch play, but they're waiting out impatient roaming or just an impatient defender coming out to peak. They are making a slower approach this time rather than those couple of fast attempts that they made. Oh, Beaver is on the attacking side. I'm sorry. Sturson picking up mini rocks. Dead picking up Ray J15 with a Taurus. Cut skills picking up dead with a spectral. Warder Tex picking picking up Trep. Captain Rogers killing cut skills and then Warder Tex killing the other player that I didn't get a chance to read. <laughs> Either way, there is a 2v2 situation now. Beaver having two you know, other enemy team having two. Right now they have EMP. Like Beaver has the EMP and breaching foam. Very set up really good. As I say that, they're breaching the A wall now. Shots have coming in. Sturson almost goes down. Master Killer almost goes down just about even more, having just a little bit more HP than Starson. Starson had to fight the higher HP X, X, health player. Vortex 1400 wasn't able to kill him. Vortex 1400 killing the remaining two Taurus United players. Giving that final round the map win for Beaver. Yeah, and, that, and that's what I was just talking about, right? I we've seen such a good showing from Beaver's Tail. They're, they held it down all the way until the end, and I'm really not shocked that it came out to a 7-0 win for them on Ship. And again, uh, Ship was just an interesting choice that I think if Taurus United made it, because um, maybe I expected some crazy. I oh, well, the scores are weird. Let me yeah. let me reset those. Uh, might have been a little bit of a miscommunication with what you're talking about, like when the maps were picked, because it is, to me, like you said, they want that half point, you know, advantage. Now it could go into the, the Taurus United team getting their, their things together. Maybe they knew that they were down a player, right? And they should just, they should leave it off for the enemy team getting the little bit of defending advantage, because now they can, now they themselves can have the defending advantage if they were going to go ahead and say, hey, we want that rather than map pick. Uh, I, I see what you're saying, but I think we're, we're, this is all hypothetical, right? If I were them okay. and I knew I was going to play a 4v5, I probably would probably ask for side, um, go into it and try to get defending for the first half and then on any map, right? Unless they choose hideout, <laughs> then, then it kind of throws the whole plan into flux, right? And wow, another interesting choice. Um, from these teams, I mean, I, I think I'm just seeing some unconventional map picks here. You know, ship first one, skyscraper. That you know, ship or skyscraper very rarely um, get chosen twice. You know, both of them in the same series. I'm really shocked that happens. I've only seen it literally one other cast. I've not seen it any other time beyond that. Um, so I'm really shocked to see that come out here. But hey, um, I love seeing these teams choose more unconventional maps um, from making their choices. Right, most teams. By round two, would have chosen Hideout or Factory. I, either of those, but none of those have been chosen yet. And they're instead going to be chosen for the third map. And I just find that so interesting. But I love it. You know, I love when teams mix it up and choose very different types of maps when they're making um, their um, plays and that sort of stuff. But we'll have to see anyways. Taurus United, mm. um, we saw kind of a rough showing from them. Again, they're going into this round with a 4v5. Um, and from Taurus United. Granted, they are on the defending half this time, so it's not an impossible ask, but it's it's a little bit more of a favor um, for them, but it's still looking rough, you know? Like, what what can he do when he got a, a player down and Beaver Tails is just showcasing some really good gameplay today? Yeah, my prediction might be right. I think since it is the Skyscraper defending Taurus United picking the defendant side, they might be waiting on that fifth player. Maybe if I'm correct, they could be waiting on that player to fill in, knowing that they, they were going to be late to the game and they have this big advantage now. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. Beaver Tails is trying their way to 
get up this staircase, and I just stumbled all my words there, but we are fine. Sturson able to knock down the drone, mm -hmm. and it looks like we have a pretty strong, maybe a numbers push here. I'm considering, I mean, it's pistol round. This is definitely the round to make. And dead on the back end with a Taurus, knocking players out, but gets knocked down and refragged himself. And Sturson also gets knocked down, and they're, they're just trading blow for blow at this point. But Beaver's Tail still on the advantage right now with a 4v3 showing. I'm just exiting the staircase, and I think they're going for a flank potentially on the lounge as Trip gets knocked down by Mini Roxy. And Trip trying to go in hungry for another kill as both players are trying to get their shots off. And it looks like a flank comes in, and again, knocked out, not leaving a 2 1 with Thomas, the bot, holding it down. And I think it's probably going to come down to Beaver Tail's. Getting the advantage this round, but hey, I mean, just just look at this. This it's a lot closer this time, right? Two one. Um, with granted, it is a bot, but two one's a lot closer than a lot of the rounds we've seen in the previous map, right? Yeah, bots are kind of scary too, especially if you have that low HP right now. <laughs> they they'll, they'll get you. They'll get you. Like they're right, they're right now, not even trying to push this bot. They're just playing it really safe. They're like, hey, just let this bot come to us. We'll gun it down. There you go. <laughs> and as it got gunned down, it was down, it's down. That leaves the round win for Beaver. Leaving it 1-0 for the first round in Skyscraper. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what much I can say right now if Beaver Tails can hold us up all the way to the end. Dare I say they get another 7-0, but I don't know. Like I said, we've seen closer gameplay from Taurus United now. I think they know... Um, with them being on a defending half, they do have the advantage, and we're seeing that now. It's it's gonna be, I think, a little bit harder for Beaver Tails to make their pushes in, so they definitely gotta still be pretty careful about them. Because um, that's the one thing too I gotta say, just because they have the bot, you can't be too confident. I've seen teams sometimes overplay their confidence and they go in and get knocked down because they just thought they were too good or were what are they called like ego peaking because they thought it, it would be totally fine, but then they get picked off, and next thing you know, that other team is able to uh, get a a potential win from that right a round win right and make you might still have a couple of good rounds on your belt but you know a couple wins here or there next thing you know you're you're playing against the team and then you might be coming down to a draw or even a loss because you made a couple overconfident rounds right definitely let's see if beaver tails can hold their composure being that newer team so far they're doing a, st a stupendous uh, performance let's see if they again they hold that composure as they say that dead was able to pick off a nice headshot on one of the beaver players as they were trying to peek that podcasting room. Yeah, I find it interesting. Taurus United, I mean, they're definitely standing up to their name. They are utilizing Tauruses as much as possible. I think most teams I see, they mock my rock two, maybe three Tauruses at most, but I will do. I will consistently see Taurus United use Tauruses um, even on non-pistol uh, rounds. Anyways, the, at this the, point. the Taurus player is hurting, so Dead did manage to get real hurt in the process, getting those few kills. No healing syringe on the field right now, so he's at 10 HP. I know, I think they're trying to knock down Dead, but Dead is holding down that corner with such um, ambition. I'm surprised they're still alive, that they're never mind. Mordax knocking down Trep. Um, and I think the breach is starting in, so it looks like Beaver Tails mm -hmm. is going to start be, uh, making their push in to potentially A or B site. Yeah, as you say, that cut skills picks off dead, so that player did remain, not remained alive. They know that this A site is a little bit clear, knowing that they got those picks. They're going to blow out A site and then wrap around to the doorway, trying to find a, a pick. As they do that, Sturson manages to... Never mind, Ray J15 killing Starson, and then cut skills killing Thomas. Mini Roxy picking off the remaining player, Captain Rogers, with the Spectral. Leaving the round win for Beaver Tails. Yeah, definitely not as close to the round we're seeing right now from Beaver Tails and Taurus <laughs> United. They came out, I think, four players up for Beaver's Tail. Beaver Tails? Sorry, I, I think I've been saying Beaver's Tail. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, definitely a lot stronger of a round for Beaver Tails that time. They came out with four players up. And again, uh, you know, to me, it's not just showing that you can stay alive, but it's, people forget, like, it provides a good economy advantage, especially if you're a team. That is maintaining their uh, Vezins every time. That means every round that you're alive with a Vezin, that's two hundred, that's 2,900 credits that you don't have to spend. Um, so mm. just because you're alive, it's not just, you know, helping with your KDR or anything, but actually really helps a lot with the economy. I mean, that's what we're consistently seeing from Beaver Tails, that their economy is just healthy. It's flush with cash. 
and Taurus United is struggling, even though they have the consecutive losses and those, um, you know, credit, you know, coming in from losses, they're going up, um, but it's still not enough to really push them over the edge and potentially get a round win. I mean, they had a 7-0 loss, right, in that first map where, um, at this point, I'm just hoping for Taurus United to be able to get their first win in this series, you know? Yeah. Same here, yeah. I, I want to see some back and forth action myself. Even though it is a little bit off of the charts right now compared to who's winning and losing, it's still anybody's game. They could make a, a huge five round and do a draw, or at the very least win it. So it is anybody else's game. They did the Beaver Beaver side, they, they spent all in. If they do get clapped right now, then they will have that advantage. It's just all about if it happens. Taurus United will have that advantage because they'll lose all that Vezins. They have that loss, that loss bonus. Yeah, you know, I just oh, find it interesting so. too in the chat. We have a, a fair amount of, I think, Beaver Tail fans. It's kind of funny. <laughs> um, so my guess is this is not a new team, or maybe they just know people in the community because a fair amount of people mm -hmm. are in the chat saying um, a lot of you know exciting people on the Beaver Tails team. And we're seeing a good show from them. I mean, it makes sense to be rooting for them right now. Um, I just find it hilarious because can you, uh, if you can pull up the stats, it'd be great. But I thought the community votes were heavily on Taurus United's side coming into this, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was a 10 vote for Taurus United, 2 vote for Beaver. Yeah, so a fair amount of play never mind, on the top end, Dead able to come in and Sturson. A lot of roaming coming out from Taurus United this time around. Um, and the frag goes up and unfortunately doesn't land on anyone's body. And it looks like downstairs yeah, got one. picks off, but I don't think um, they uh, Beaver Tails does not know that they might know that EMP is upstairs now, probably going for it. And if I were Taurus United right now, I would be playing the EMP. Um, but unfortunately, they did not look on the ground. They don't know that the EMP. And this is what I'm saying. This is one of the most important things to be doing. Is when you make those picks, you got to check the body. Because look, Sturson was on the EMP. They might have been able to get a couple picks off and might have made this closer round than it is. Yeah, to me, it looked like he knew that they knew where he was, so he just hauled it back to the objective to give him another fighting advantage, you know, knowing that they were going to put the bomb down. So this, as I say, that Sturson does get a kill on Ray J15. He knows that he has to play this room, but maybe he's better, more of aware that they're in that room. And then Cut Skills shuts down Sturson. Yeah, I mean, we've seen some really good gameplay today from, from Cut Skills, right? Cut Skills has been roaming yeah. very well on the first map. Um, and showcasing the same amount of fragging ability on the second map now for Beaver Tails. And I, I know you're saying about Sturston, maybe you're thinking, hey, they, they know my spot, but here's the thing. You know where the MP is. You know they have to come up there. Even if they know where your spot relatively was, you know where the MP is. You're gonna hold some, you can hold some weird off angle or an unexpected angle um, for a hey, roamer up there, right? Yeah, I couldn't agree with you anymore on that one, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got it. It's just... uh. I think he's just scared that the numbers were coming up the staircase. I would have been kind of, but <laughs> and then again, I, I and get then it again. Yeah. And then again, he, 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 like, he didn't check those bodies. So, yeah. Cause it, here's what I, I know you're saying, I totally get it, but I'm, I'm thinking about like from a strategy perspective, it's either, all right, the, is it better for them to hold off the EMP on another uh, floor? That's unexpected, especially considering the uh, uh, site was on the first floor or do they rotate off, allow the team to get the EMP and potentially get an EMP plant off while now you have to still take the three v one so like at least one you know there's no emp pressure but if you allow them to get the emp there's now potential emp pressure and you still have the three v one no matter what anyways right yeah his adrenaline was pumping for sure it's the game of <laughs> breaches it all went down he said i'm the last player alive who knows what his mind was going through at that very given time i know i know people get scared but you can clutch up i will always tell people once you have a vezin in hand clutch up is possible because it's it's literally one bullet to the face and they're knocked down trap stared down the drone and then shot it down Ooh, Sturston picks up Ray J15 in the hallway coming down that south side staircase. Yeah, Sturston definitely hungry for a couple of kills this round, especially after last round didn't quite pan out the way they wanted. Um, and it's a good start. I mean, there's a lot of roaming. I'm, I'm surprised for a team that knows they have a bot. Uh, never mind. Sturston knocking out another player. Cut skills on top of that. I believe cut skills is top fragger, maybe? No, one of the top ones. Um, so really good. I mean, I'm, this is just good. I mean, two players down. Um, at this point, Torch United just needs to play their numbers advantage, and they might be able to win out their first round win in this series. 
Could be. Sturson did manage to pick up a couple of good kills. He wanted it enough. They they have the EMP, so they're not out till they're out unless they you know find the EMP. They are making a lobby push right now. It's gonna be they're they're gonna have to get up that staircase. Dead is right above them, and Mini Mini is definitely gonna get sandwiched any second now. He's just the stare down up there. Dead managing to pick out Master Killer. Grenade coming in, almost picking water. What? Wow. This name, Waterdex. There you go. Got it. Dead killing many rocks. The lobby push isn't looking good for Beaver. So, like you said, Taurus United is looking good, healthy right now. They might know where that EMP is, knowing that that player went down, but they went back. They want to play it safe. They want to hold their angles. Waterdex 1400 is the remaining player for Beaver. Yeah, normally I, I would, if this is a little bit closer of a matchup, I would tell Waterdex to um, go for a save round. But considering that their economy is so flush, I think they can play it out. Um, that maybe that's just me being, yeah. you know, overconfident. But you got a, you got one bot, so probably a pretty solid uh, knockdown. It's really a one v kind of three and a half, I would say. But um, Waterdex, they are playing a smarter, smarter play here. Just play it out because um, even though they have the economy disadvantage. They still have another two rounds. You don't want to overplay. This is what I was saying earlier. You don't want to overplay your hand. And then now mm. you're potentially coming out with a couple round losses, you know, in the upcoming rounds, right? Um, but anyways, it looks like we are going to see our first round win from Taurus United, um, which is definitely exciting to see because I think if we're considering the first map, they are now 11 rounds in with their first, um, in total, right? Considering all the maps, 11 rounds in um, with their first series round win coming in which is nice maybe this is the momentum switch up um even with the 4v5 this is still a solid showing from them and this is what i'm saying it's not impossible to win a round if you think about it if they can win one they can potentially win seven right yeah it can it can, it can monopoly into bigger and better things for sure for the team taurus united after they come and pick up more wins they will become more healthier and healthier and the enemy side will become less healthier and less healthier Right yeah. now, the defending side did buy in on a trip mine, so they're gonna they're gonna block off that window attempt. It's, it's still it's still down far enough that a player still could reach in, though. But then again, jumping in is gonna give them a hard time. And both yeah. both window sites coming from the outside, the defending side def decided to just put those trip mines in to just prevent them from jumping in real quickly. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case for Beaver, though. They're, they're having a, a game plan strategy being set up now. They're at the top of Skyscraper, and they're going to look like they're going to make their way to Toilets. EMP player AJ15 is over by Toilets, and looks like B is going to be the approach. Yeah, and again, I got to give credit to Taurus United being creative still, and even being a player down, they play aggressive on those rummers. Like, I, I, I love a team that can, you know, deal with... They can see the pressures coming in, they're dealing with it, but they can still think pretty well. And that's what we saw with Taurus United last round. They, they've they literally been losing, you know, what, a lot of rounds, seven, ten, ten rounds back to back. Um, but right. even then, you can always kind of hold it down, calm your mind, and potentially be able to come out of this. And we saw some great roaming gameplay from them last time. I'm hoping we can see the same thing here um pretty soon but we will have to see right now as beaver tails makes her push and gets knocked down by dead and dead almost gets another but cut skills knocks them down for the count and raj raji i don't know how they how they pronounce that but they got the plant off on b looks like b is totally unprotected at this point except by captain rogers in a 1v2 standoff here comes the 1v2, Ray J couldn't see Captain Rogers, Captain Rogers kills Ray J15, Sturson killing cuts kills with a Vezin and Water Dex 1400, killing Captain Rogers with a Marui, Master Killer 01 following up killing Trep with a Vezin. They used a double drone in this situation, they cleared out the first, the B site, as I say that Master Killer picks off the last player remaining on Taurus United, Sturson. So yeah, they, they, they managed to double drone right there they, they had the comms knowing that hey that site only had a only had a bot in it once they cleared out that bot and had uh well played like they cleared out that room pretty much then they double drone and, and that was smart for from beaver 
Yeah, I mean, really, to your point, really good gameplay right now from Bieber because they, I think they noticed, to your point, um, that the site was pretty <laughs> empty that they were able to come yeah. in and take over. And that's exactly what we saw. Literally, there's one person only on site. Once they knocked him down, it was easy for them to walk up um, and just kind of lock it down and put their plant up. And unfortunately, things didn't quite work out for Torch United. And I thought that was another solid round from Torch United. They had a couple picks. Um, unfortunately, things just didn't quite pan out once that EMP plant went off, and they didn't have um, the ability to retake side or anything like that. Um, especially in toilets, I know that's such a tough corner to push into, and I think they cu they cut out a couple, I think two players coming in through toilets, so it didn't quite work out for Taurus United there. Um, at this point, Beaver Tail is coming into their final round on this first half, and again, I'm expecting some really good gameplay from them, um, unless Taurus United can shut it down. But I think they're playing very aggressive right now as Beaver Tails pulls, uh, decides to go a full four or five man push on the A side. That is completely unprotected right now from Taurus United. And this might be a huge miss uh, step right now from Taurus United. And two players down for the count from Mini Roxy there. And I don't know what's going to happen here because they have to retake A when the EMP has already been planted. Yeah, yeah, Martini, that was a pretty quick push. I wasn't even aware of that, that that went down so quickly. The bomb site, like you said, was just so unprotected. It was pretty unpredictable from the defending side to just leave a... But they leave a site un unprotected like that, but they sure capitalized on it really quickly. Right now, they're hanging out in podcast room. Sturson's seeing those players, but was unable to kill Cut Skills as Cut Skills takes down Sturson with a Vezin. Yeah, just unfortunate. It might, it might have just been bad timing with Taurus United. They probably rotated around. Maybe they're looking around other areas on the other defending side. And the next thing you know, Beaver Tails is literally knocking on your door. Um, already in on A side and... Sorry, A or B, I forgot. Um, on bomb side. And they were getting the EMP down. And it's just... Um, they were probably a little shocked. I mean, if I were if I if I were them, I would be shocked if I'm walking. If I'm literally walking into site with no opposition, and that's exactly what we saw there. And I think that goes to show that you really got to watch all the corners, no matter what, um, how how long the round's been going on, because a team can make an actual push within 20, 30 seconds of the round, and that's what we saw there from Beaver Tales making such an early push that I think Taurus United literally did not expect it. Right. Right now, I'm believing that these beaver guys, they are debating on using these frag grenades that they had just bought into to just delay the push from when they breach the walls. And it is going to give them a hard time, especially they have the breaching foam on hand. Sturson killed Trap. Oh no, a team down, team player. Dead picking up Warder Tex. Warder Dex. With a Doris. Like you said, Taurus United playing them Tauruses. Oh, Frag almost just barely got dead there, but he did. Yeah, it looked chipped off a bit of damage. Oh, yeah, I is think unfortunately, that. like that, that's one of the problems when you play really uh, like close to each other. You might accidentally shoot okay. teammate as someone plays a little bit um, forward, right? And, and that's I think that's what happened there. Um, anyways, the breach finally does come in. I think Master Killer just peaked. Dead off the corner of their eye, but could not unfortunately do anything about it. As Master Killer comes up, gets knocked down by Sturson. And Taurus United actually might be able to make this work out, even with it. Never mind on the back end. Never mind, they actually did get the, the pick off on the end. And Rajnik gets knocked down with the frag out, and Sturson gets knocked down. Ooh, Thanks it's now. <laughs> I'm Dead sorry, that was just Taurus crazy. On mini rocks. That was. That was, that was just grenade, back, back grenade grenades. And Back-to-back -back grenades, I mean, players getting knocked down left and right, and, I mean, I don't know what's going on with Beaver Tails. Maybe they played overconfident in that round. I, uh, The fact that Taurus United came in with a team kill disadvantage and still came out with the round, hey, um, I will say the the game's not over till it's over. We can might potentially see some crazy things coming in. Um, Got to give a cool shout-out. I think it says Nate Nathlin Gaming. They gave us... Um, a cool gift in the chat. Always appreciate when those people come out for gifts. I think this is my you third didn't. cast that I've gotten a gift in um, where we got it out of <laughs> Verbal as an entity. Uh, Verbal Breachers as an entity received a uh, donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you for hopping out. You know, we love, I love uh, receiving donations because to me it really showcases people appreciate what we're doing on this channel and it's just showcasing some fun, cool 
Beecher's gameplay and showcasing potentially a team that you want to watch uh, play well. And right now, Beaver Tails is killing it. But hey, we're seeing a little bit of fight in Taurus United. Um, and maybe we might be able to see a good enough fight to potentially force us into map three. So we will have to see. Oh, yeah. They're, they look like they're making their way through vents. Currently, the EMP holder, smartly enough, is going to be the last person to make their way into the building. One roamer. Dead killing, picking up a kill on mini rocks. Cut skills, got the roam on the staircase south, south side. Sturson, picking up a kill on water decks. Dead, wanted to follow up followed up indeed he did and killing master killer 001 that went really fast with all the wall bangs that happened there through that television the wall bangs on that television were just insane you see that uh yeah i've seen some cr i don't know what to tell you man i just saw taurus united team execute such a good attack play there um i don't yeah. know this might be the momentum switch up that is what right. we've been asking for the whole time and beaver tails i don't know what happened there maybe because of the economy disadvantage which is might you know might have been what we've seen but now beaver tails coming into the third round um it should be their assault rifle round but i'm only seeing a couple uh rifles in hand i'm not sure if people are just still buying uh attachments or anything but that we have another strong uh, you know economy disadvantage we might be seeing another play up from Taurus United. Um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Um, this is, looks like a good showing for Taurus United coming into this next round. <clears throat> and they've been on a hot streak, right? Has it been a winning streak? Or that was one round? Yeah, right? They they won the last two, three rounds. Two rounds back to back. Yeah, Taurus oh, United, two rounds back to back puts them in a good situation to make that comeback, like you said. It could be because of Beaver having that confidence enough to think that it's going to be an easy winning situation. Water Decks 1400 bought in on a Taurus to fight up against the Taurus users. Now, will this make a good play decision? We'll have to wait and see. EMP is in the hands of Captain Rogers. As I see that, Ray J15 killing the Thomas bot that made its way into the courtyard. Just shoved its way right in the doorway. Cut skills is on the roam right now in that hallway. Master Killer 01 killing Captain Rogers. Dead with very low HP after picking up Mini Roxy. There looks to be going through the toilets trying to get this B site. One player for the defenders, Beaver Master Killer 01, trying to defend the push by the Taurus United side and the toilets. As I say, that cut skills is gonna try to. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I thought Cut Skills might have seen them. that. They, I don't think they yeah. heard the frag come out. They literally did not move away from it. Um, and now equalizing a 3-3 push from Taurus United. That's exactly what they needed because that roamer was on their back and then it couldn't turn out really, really bad. But I'm just, I'm almost in shock that it worked. Yeah, man. It was, it was a predictable nade and it was an astounding one at like that. Water decks 1400 picking off dead with that Taurus. The Taurus coming against them in their favor. Ray J15 picking up the double kill on Sturson and Trep, I believe. Well, that was a good play, and that's that gives that momentum shutdown that they needed on the Beavers side so that they could prevent mm. that momentum on Taurus United. I'm so sad because we saw a crazy switch up an equalizer <laughs> um, for the round on Torch United. Unfortunately, they couldn't capitalize on that 3 3. If you think about it, I think there was only one player on site and one in the back. And if they had coordinated their push a little bit more, they would have been able to get that push in, knock down that player on site, and either come out with an equal odds or even be one player up. And that's that's. That's what I'm saying. Like you gotta sometimes make those calls in game and really coordinate the push together. Otherwise, I think what happened there is they both kind of everyone tried to make small individual pushes, um, which forced them into these one v one situations that didn't quite work out for Taurus United, and really knocked out their chances for winning out that round because that was very much a winnable round, I would say. Oh yeah. Um, looks to me like the Taurus United players still had the opportunity to all buy in on Vezins. Uh, except for one player, the bot, obviously the bot bought in on a Cadillo, but they, they managed their money well enough to have Vezins now, so the experience is kicking in where the economy, they were able to utilize it that well. Whoa! As they swung in, Mini Rocks, you just prevented that push immediately, killing Captain Rogers and dead. 
Yeah, moments like that, I gotta say, when you push into any place that might have a person, it guns up, because I think someone almost attacked them, but they didn't have their gun up, so they got shot down, and that didn't work out for Torch United, and I think it, it was a cool-looking push on the lounge, but didn't yeah. work out too much as Mini Roxy uh, in the back and shutting it down, leaving a 1v5 situation with Sturzen, I think... Unless we see the craziest John Wick switch up here, we might be seeing a round win for Beaver Tails, and on top of that, a second map win, and on top of that, a, ma a series win for Beaver Tails coming out of this, now giving them three games in the pocket, and hey, I'm just saying, these up-and-coming <laughs> teams, um, I've been seeing some really good gameplay from them. This is the yeah. second up-and-coming team I've seen play out very well, and they're on a winning streak, right? So right now, it's uh, Beaver Tails I've seen play very well, Ice Cream Truck was another up-and-coming team. Um, maybe people gotta look out for these up-and-coming teams. They might be make, pushing together and creating some crazy teams um, that might be able to, who knows, maybe one of them comes out to a master team or tier team. We'll have to see. Um, but right. I think Beaver Tales, as much as they played the gay today, they want to play master. There's definitely a lot of hard lessons to learn along the way because I don't know if you watch those master tier teams play, but I mm -hmm. don't know. Sometimes their gameplay looks almost otherworldly as they make some crazy um, picks. <laughs> Yeah, up there is, is some pretty high-level gameplay for sure. The newer teams right now, it could be just uh, they have more time on their hands. They they study, able to study as they go in. You know, they have that fresh, fresh mindset. They're not burnt out. Sturson finds cut skills on that, on this uh, north side staircase. Yeah, at that point, I mean, it was a double Sturson's swing. Fighting. That one was a good pick from Sturson. That, that, that was a 50-50 chance for me. Both players swung, and it really was just... Who can get the shots down, right? Yeah. The time waiting game as they only have 40 seconds for the Taurus United player Sturson. Could be the final, final round, as Martin said. And as I say that, Master Killer did find the final player, killing Sturson with a Vezin. Yeah, I mean, a really strong um, attempt to come back here from Taurus United, but unfortunately, Beaver Tail showcasing that they are an up-and-coming team, and they are a force to be reckoned with as they win in a two-map um, series win against Taurus United. I mean, 7-0, they came out to an amazing start off of ship, and now 7-3 on Skyscraper. We saw, finally, um, Taurus United try to fight back against them, but things just didn't quite work out for them. And Beaver Tail still coming out of this on the opposite end. And I don't know. What do you, what do you think? I mean, Taurus United is a top 25 team. Beaver Tails is a totally new. They might also be a top 25 team themselves, if not higher than that, right? Right. It, it puts them in a lovely position on the leaderboard for sure. It was a good performance by Beaver this game. This turnaround is something that they really wanted. They can tell that they wanted it. They held their composure the entire time. It was a good gameplay by Beaver. They could have very well have more tricks up their sleeves in the future. Yeah, for sure. I mean, getting it done in two. We didn't even see a map three. I was hoping we see some crazy gameplay from Taurus United coming out of this great. and pushing this into a map three. But unfortunately, Beaver tells just showcasing really strong gameplay. But we have to give credit to Taurus United. They held it up with four to five players. And I'm shocked that they actually even got three rounds in a pocket. Four or five is just difficult to always play against. And especially when you're on the attacking half for a fair amount of this, uh, you can't do too much. But unfortunately, at the end of this, Beaver Tails came out. So congratulations to them. Um, we will have to see y'all in the next cast. But anyways, um, that will be it for us tonight. Um, we will see y'all in the next Breacher's cast. I don't know when the next one is. I didn't check. Maybe tomorrow or Friday. Um, but it's a lot of games, I think, uh, coming up this weekend. So maybe I'm hoping I can pick something up. But I'm on a trip Sunday, and I won't be back for a while. So I will be out of the casting booth for a little bit. Um, so mm -hmm. hopefully the other casters, they'll be able y'all can hop in and cover as many games as you can. But anyways, I love coming out, always streaming and checking out for these Breachers teams. But anyways, thank y'all for coming out, checking out Breachers Vermal, and we will see y'all in the next cast. Uh, any last words you got, Splurge? Otherwise, no. That's it, man. We can clear it out. <laughs> all right, all right. We're, we're gonna we're, we got an early dinner tonight, so we'll be chilling and having a good time. But see y'all and have a good night.
Futures VRML is brought to you by Triangle Factory, HyperX, ProTube VR. Thanks for watching VRML.